Phoenix Suns, should they be the favorites to make it out the West? I'm assuming that you're going to start with, so. No, I was throwing the piece. Somebody told me to throw the piece on up. Okay, so, all right. Yeah, I was throwing the piece out. Oh, yeah, I'll start. Um, Yeah. I mean. Your, Mike's better, not better than T-Mac. Huh? Sorry. T-Mac Orlando. Ooh, that boy was nice. And it will be better. Yeah, yeah, I agree. Yeah. Undoubtedly, actually. Like in probably like two years. Maybe a year. Probably ended. He's already year. better. <laughs> oh, no, I don't know. T-Mac in Orlando was. No, he was great. He was actually hey, Who's best. already better? So about Tatum. Tatum. Is everybody in T-Mac? I don't know. T-Mac or Orlando was. Ah, whatever. We'll talk about that. We'll talk about that. Yeah. Cl- it's close. Tatum. I don't really care. I mean, T-Mac yeah. didn't win, bro. Never got out the first round. So? He blew a 3-1 lead. Who cares? What do you mean, who cares? Listen, Tatum is a dog. Talk about player for player. T-Mac's I mean, Tatum, Tatum as a rookie made the conference finals. <laughs> You mean Tatum, Terry Rozier, Jay LeBron? He was the best player on our team. He was the best player as a rookie. He wasn't the best player on the team. It was actually Kyrie. But Kyrie got hurt. In the playoffs. In the playoffs. playoffs. Well, well, no, yeah, of course. Him. But Kyrie and, you know, they Come had to get on. to the Stop top it. seed. Stop it. I mean, I just, it, it just sounds like you guys are casuals to T-Max game. I, I, oh, honestly, really? Is that yeah. what it is? 32-8-8. Eight and eight, I mean, he's... No, I'll be honest. Savage. I threw it out there just being, obviously, Tatum. Oh, no, you're and what, you're the Tatum guy. And what is Tatum doing right now? Same thing as T-Mac was doing? And he's playing winning basketball. Oh, well, his team was clearly better than no, almost no, every absolutely. team. team absolutely. No, that's yeah, without a no, doubt. No. Um, from a top perspective, you know, it's not for Um, Yeah, the Suns should be favorites. I mean, when you put KD on a team with still Devin Booker, and then you still have DeAndre, and you still have Chris Paul, I think that's a team that definitely – I mean, Denver has been the best team in the West all year. You know, you have to give sure. them that credit. The Joker is probably going to win his third MVP. Jamal Murray is getting back to form. You have Aaron Gordon. You have the pieces there, Bruce Brown. KCP, you have the role players there. I think uh, Denver is definitely in the conversation. But the Phoenix walks right up there with them as the Tier 1 team because they have Kevin Durant. They have Devin Booker now. They will be in the buyout market looking for a couple more guys to bring to the team. And even if they don't, you still trust the team with Kevin Durant and Devin Booker. Not many teams, if any team, in the West has the type of wing length to stop both of those guys. I mean, those are two guys that are pretty much complete on the offensive end, they don't have a weak spot on the court. They can score at will at any point, post exactly. up, mid-range, three-pointer, and get to their spot. So th- this is a dangerous, dangerous duo. Probably the arguably the best duo in the league, if not one, maybe two. But they're definitely a top three duo comfortably. And with Devin Booker coming back tonight, Kevin Durant coming back later, I think this is going to be an exciting team. It's going to be a team that should be the favorites. This is going to be a team that's probably elite offensively. I don't know many teams in the West that can definitely stop them. The worry for me becomes defense, but when you have Booker, Kevin Durant, of course we can understand that DeAndre Ayton is not a star, but he's still a very good ball player. CP3, who's going to be the point guard of one of the more dominant scoring duos in the league, who better to facilitate that offense than Chris Paul? The worry becomes defense because you traded your best perimeter defender in Mikael Bridges. Cam Johnson, obviously, he's more so of a shooter, but he's no slouch on the defensive side of the ball either. What great wing defenders do you have? Now, we can understand that, of course, Kevin Durant is a very good defender. He has been a very good defender this season. Prior to his injury, he was a shot blocking machine, one of the better rim protectors. But my worry becomes on the perimeter, where you can mask it, and where it can be understandable, let me not use the word understandable, where you can mask it and where it can be better protected is with the fact that your offense is going to be the best in the league. When you have Booker and you have Kevin Durant, you should be the best scoring offense in the league, in my opinion. My worry does become defense, and that's when you start to see, is that going to be an issue come... Come playoff time and or finals time, because let's say they do make it out of the West and they play a team like the Celtics. The Celtics defensively are sound. Offensively, you could give the edge to the Suns because you have Kevin. You have you have Devin. Of course, DeAndre Ayton isn't a slouch either. Chris Paul in his own right is not a slouch. But defensively, they have answers. Not that you can stop Kevin Durant, but we saw the Celtics do it last season. On this completely different scenario, though, because now it's Devin Booker and, and company there. But I need to see a couple games in terms of seeing how they play defensively. What's their scheme going to be like? Of course, I have no concerns about this offense, not even a little bit. But defensively, that's where my worries start to come in. Uh, first of all, Jason Tatum, youngest player ever to make 1,000 threes in his career. Um, so shout out to him. Just <laughs> phenomenal man and human being. Um, I think Draymond said it perfectly on his podcast. On paper, you have to give the edge to the Suns right now. It's not just it's because of KD, but not just because of KD. I think a big part of this... And the reason why a lot of us were reluctant on the Suns coming into the season and years prior 
is because you had to rely pretty heavily on Chris Paul and DeAndre. And we know Aiden has the capability of dropping 30, 35 points a couple nights no ago Booker? against Brooklyn. Huh? No Booker? Well, we know Booker okay. does, We know Booker is going to do his thing. But I'm saying as a second, third mm-hmm. scoring options. Mikhail's in there for sure, too, who obviously you move away from. Um, but you were really relying on Aiden, especially being the second leading scorer for, for most of this time. He was on the Suns with, with uh, deep book Chris Paul, mm-hmm. this unit. Um, you're relying on him, and he's someone who could definitely be inconsistent. He has nights like he has against Brooklyn. Just a couple nights prior, he has stretches where he does 10 points, 12 points, 4, 14. He had a, a night of 6 or 8 points even a couple weeks ago where you can't rely on him on a 7-game series to be your second highest scorer, not only because he's a center, which is kind of hard to do in today's game, but also just because he doesn't have the ability to space the floor, and he's limited offensively as is. And then Chris Paul, who is more facilitator than anything than anything else this gives him an even better role where he doesn't have to worry about scoring at all I know the last few games he really hasn't been scoring much at all he has multiple games in single digits so the ability to take some of that pressure off of Aiton and Chris Paul offensively I think is huge but you still have to give respect to the Nuggets and to the Warriors those are the two other teams I still look at in the West saying they have just as good as a chance as this Phoenix Suns team. As Drew said, you have to see them play. This is not an offseason where you have training camp and you have the ability in preseason games to make things work and test different things out. It's February. The All-Star game is a week away, and you're getting into games, especially in the Suns position where Kevin Durant's still out for a couple more weeks. You're going to have to start winning these games to make sure you're not in a play and hopefully get some sort of it. You're probably not going to get home court advantage, get a top 3-4 seed, but try not to match up with the Nuggets or the or the Clippers, whoever, round one and try to get a bit of an easier matchup. Because when you look at the Nuggets, still having, I don't know if they're the number one offense, but they've been number one offense all season long. Nikola Jokic, Michael Porter defensively is a bit of an issue, but offensively Offense give you buckets. Jamal Murray. And then <laughs> and then the Warriors, he hasn't been great this season. Um, And then the Warriors, they're just, Ooh, their unit. MPJ. MPJ ah. defensively. Um, oh, yeah. Yeah. Some of it has to do with injuries, I think. It seems like he He's should be a good defender. Been. He has he has the size um, to be able to compete on the defensive side. He just doesn't. The Warriors just as a unit and just their system, we know how great it is. And I know they've been struggling this season. But when Curry was playing these last couple weeks before his injury, they were winning some games on the road. I know to start the season they were terrible. But right before he got hurt, they won two or three games on the road. We're, trying, we're basically getting out of that weird funk they had where they were just the worst team in basketball if they were on the road. It does not matter who they were playing. So I think once Curry comes back, they're still going to be in that conversation for sure. But on paper, this is the scariest team because you have two elite shot makers, elite shot takers who could score it anywhere on the basketball court with one of the best facilitators of all time. And you have a big man, Aiden, who could give you buckets, but also could be inconsistent and have a, you know, a game where he doesn't show up. There are multiple perspectives, perspectives I'm looking at this trade from bird's eye view. Horizontally. All right, come on, get into it. Vertically. I knew this was come to hell. <laughs> <laughs> now look at this trade. I'm happy for Kevin Durant. This is the first time in his career he's playing with a true point guard floor general. Respect Russell. Russell Westbrook's not that. What the hell does that even matter for? I know. No, uh, it does. It matter. does. A, point, a true point guard getting get into your spots it does. better? It, it does. matters. Into his spots and go to stay just fine. Yeah, but Chris Paul well, playing with Chris Paul is That was due to luxury. Yeah, so Chris Paul makes De- guys like DeAndre Jordan all-stars. This is about to be luxury. DeAndre Jordan hasn't made an all-star. When he was with the Clippers, he did. Oh, I thought you said yeah. Aiden. No, no. I'm happy for KD. Oh my God. Russell Westbrook, Steph Curry, Kyrie, scoring guards. You know, Steph does it in different ways. No, this is fourth super team. But first time <laughs> that he has a true floor general point guard. You guys are considering this team a super team. I just want to get your game. Why are you saying you guys? No, no, just, just I, know, I, I, I want to ask you. It was funny. It was funny. Uh, it was funny. Uh, no, I think Chris Paul's cooked. I think Aiden is good. This is not a super team. I don't think it's a super team. team. It's a great okay. team. This is a great team. Come these, on, bro. No, Chris Paul's fucking cooked. Okay, this is so a great team. these Phoenix Suns, I just want to get it correctly. They are not a super team. Look at him. He are they a super team, Drew? Yes. You think so? They don't have that third dog. Bro, CP3 is a Hall of Famer, first ballad. It does not matter. All right, so they called, all right, no question. Steve Nash, he was cooked when he got traded to the Lakers, correct? No. Steve, yes. No. Yes. 
No, 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 Steve no. Nash. Steve Nash wasn't cooked. He was coming he, off he, a great season. How old was he? No, he, he was old, he was, but he, he wasn't, wasn't cooked. cooked. He just got he was, a back. And he also, got what Lakers, made that team cooked. a super team is that Dwight right. Howard was the best center in the Correct. league, and Kobe was the best shooting guard. Okay, in the league. so Steve Nash was still an All Star, I believe. KD, let me double down though. Let me check. And Paul Gasol was an All Star still. Oh yeah, they did have Paul Gasol. Facts. I forgot Paul Gasol was on that team also. But KD, top five player minimum, however you want to see it, was arguably the MVP prior to his injury. Devin Booker, top ten player. CP3. No, St- Steve Nash was not cooked. He was still the same dude. Really? He just damn near broke his back the next year. He couldn't do it no more. Got it. Got it. What was his numbers? The, the year before, it was 15, 11, shooting what he does, his fucking mm-hmm. efficient ad. Next year, it was 13 and 11. Same that should have worked. 13 and 11. Injuries messed 13 up. 13 and 11. That's basically what Chris so Paul is exa- doing. So exactly. Chris Paul is doing like exactly. 13 and 8. Yeah, but that's like Nash is like, we know like, it's it's a, diff- that's it's why I a say, different That's why I only vibe. say that because, yes, it's different vibes. Yeah, but, but again, Chris Paul is is still I, one I mean, of the best facilitators At the time league. when Kobe and Dwight teamed up, they were both perceived as top five players in the league. And right now, Devin Booker and KD are teaming up. He's already not a top ten player in the league. Okay, can I finish? I'm sorry. Riv already deemed them the best duo in the NBA. I don't disagree. I think they are the best duo in the NBA. I said the arguably, but yes. No, but I'm I'm agreeing with you. If you're going to say <laughs> arguably, fine. I'm going to go out and say it. They're the yeah. best duo in the NBA. Arguably. And so now oh you add God, CP3, Reed. who's still a great facilitator, has been playing very good basketball as of late. DeAndre Ayton has been playing very good basketball essentially all season long. Let's, this is this is a super team. Yeah, I'm best sorry. Duo is cooked now. Yeah, the Jays aren't the best. Oh, it's cooked. Yeah, the it's best cooked. Team. It's cooked. It's cooked. We're the best team. Yeah, no. But you do. Best duo shit. You dropped the three. It's <laughs> you're cooked now. <laughs> you're cooked now. That's okay, just, uh, Luka and, and Kyrie yeah, are yeah, better? Yeah, yeah. It, easy? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's easy. Straight. Was KD and Kyrie talent. better than the Jays? Talent wise. I'm no, I'm wondering. Oh yeah, talent wise, no. Oh uh, yes. But not like like what we've seen? Nah. But like you know, now, so why is it clean? Because now it's like fresh. Like Luca, fresh. enough of this. Enough. It's fresh. I mean, Kevin Durant and Devin Booker, clear. Yeah. But Luca's and Kyrie is more of a conversation. But I would take Luca and Kyrie. The dynamic. Shame, but, didn't get out of the West. but you, you wouldn't know, take KD and Kyrie. Nah. That's why has some consistency here. No, I saw. Them if you're already. not gonna take no, KD and Kyrie, that, how Luke can you take Luca and Kyrie? New. That's it's what I'm wondering. It's new. Kevin Durant and Kyrie. It's new. I picked them after it's I didn't see them get swept. Fact. I picked them after they got swept. I said I'm done with them. I'm putting the Jays over. Luke and Kyrie's new. It's fresh. It feels great. It feels amazing. I'm putting them over. What if they lose in the first round? Then they're it's fucked. Fun. They go right back down. <laughs> <laughs> like we saw the Jays just go to the finals. Are you Luka upset because you're getting ignored right we now? You know Luke and not getting swept. No, I'm know, just... Oh. This is hilarious. Uh-huh. He's laughing at you. Dells, oh, no, you me. called... Dells, you called the Suns. They're not a super team. Correct. They're, they're, I respect I think they're favorite. Favorite. They're not a super team. I respect it. You don't respect him. Drew. <laughs> Talk to me. You called Chris Paul cooked. Yes. You just said Jared Allen's better than DeAndre Ian. I didn't say that. Last show, you I? said it. You basically said it. I did he not say basically that. say Jared no. Allen's better than DeAndre Ian? I didn't Ian? say that. You d- I think you said it was a conversation. I don't I mean, remember. I think me. It we, is a conversation. Think, who's better, in your opinion? I think we picked DeAndre Allen over Ian. Super slightly. So if I swap out DeAndre Ian for Jared Allen on this current Suns team, it's a super team? What makes this a super team? KD and Booker and Chris Paul and A DeAndre super team Ian. is three st- all stars or superstars. Okay. Where Chris Paul is still, whether you like it or he's not, not an he's not. Come on, bro. He's not. He was an all-star last season. Bro, he wouldn't even be an all-star replacement. He if, called him an if MVP every, last year. Chris Paul wouldn't even be an all-star replacement if everybody on the all-star team got yeah, injured we're talking in the West. this year for sure, but he's not been playing bad. We're talking about this year. No, I he's am not, talking about bro, this year. Yes, he's not playing bad. He's a good player. He's been playing very good, he's honestly. He's not an all-star. No, I wouldn't call him an all-star this season, but he's still an all-star player. Is DeAndre in an all-star? No. Hell no. So how can they be a super team when it's Chris it's, Paul? It's D Book and, and KD, and then there's no other third All Star. Well, it's it's D Book and KD, and it's Chris Paul. There's a gap, huge gap. No, absolutely. We're Massive. talking about two top ten players. Chris Paul's not a top ten point guard right now. He's not. He might not. He might, he might stu- not be top it's, fifteen. It's stupid deep. That's wrong. No, it, it's there's a lot of great point guards this year. Disrespectful. No, my bro. girlfriend's calling it's me. I'm sorry. Time? She's probably, seeing, she's probably she's seeing the chat go crazy, and she's calling me all upset and stuff. Um, he's not a top-ten point guard, no. Steph Curry, yes. Luka, no. John Morant, James Harden, S4. De'Aaron Fox, SGA, no order. Dame. Tyrese, Dame, that's eight. LaMelo. Jalen Brunson's better than him this year. LaMelo, that's 10. Garland. Garland, that's 11. Is SGA a point guard? Yes, he is. Yeah. SGA's better. Are we sure about that? No, like, we're absolutely positive. Um, Jordan Poole's better than Chris. Drew Holiday, who's better right now? Drew Holiday. Oh, listen, a lot of players are better than Chris Paul, I guess. Jalen Brunson. This doesn't mean Jaylen Trey Young. I didn't even mention Trey Young. Young. Facts. He's cooked right now. He's, he's not old. cooked. Cooked in the sense that he's not the same. Let me say that. He's not the same. Who's right better now. right now, Jamal Murray or Chris Paul? 
Jamal's been playing better as of lately. Probably lean Jamal. Give me one second. Give me one second. So want me I'm to send you crafted idiot. PM? Did you say Ja? I did say Ja. That's, yes. Want me to send you crafted PM? You want to let me help you? Okay, so. I got you. Is Chris Paul a top five facilitator in the game right now? He probably still is. Oh. I'm okay, so that. he's one of the best. He's still he's always going to be one okay, of the best. And you're you're pairing him with arguably the best scoring duo in the league. He just fits perfectly. It doesn't mean he's a. But super, he's still. But he's a Hall of Famer. Whether whether that's his that's, resume. That's not what he is now. Though no, he's not playing at a Hall of Fame level. Do you need a scoring he's been, guard? He's been he's still you been very defense, good. Probably. That was, that was a great Chris statement. Paul has been Pittsburgh. good in spurts. He's been inconsistent this year. Not calling this. So are you trying not to call this a super team? So this isn't a stain on Kevin Durant's legacy. I don't think this is. I think that's what he's getting. I think that's what he's getting. I don't think this is a super team. It's a great team. It's a great team. Definitely. This is not a super team. I agree. You have two, without a doubt, superstars. You don't have a third. This is the guy who thinks Chris... He thought Chris Paul was really good. He's saying he's not an all-star no more. He, no, he still is an all-star. He's not, though. He's not an all-star right now, yes, but regardless of that last season, he was an all-star. Drew, answer me this. He if, wouldn't have gotten as a sub. No, this every, year, no way. Drew, if every player on the West Conference All-Stars got injured, is Chris Paul in? No. God damn, that's a lot. Of so how is he an All-Star? Wait, every player? Yeah, he Every single in. player. He would get so, so is he a top 30 player in the West or top... He might not be a top 30 player in the West. West. He would get it. Jesus. He would get it. Would he?